you're living on a daily basis as if you're forever. The fundamental awareness that this is mortal, if you come to terms with that one thing, there would be no insecurity because there's nothing to gain, nothing to lose in this life. You came with nothing, whatever the hell is happening, you're on the profit side. Sadhguruji, my question is, uh, how does one deal with insecurities? How does one deal with insecurity? Life is insecure. There is no security about life because... Shall I reveal a secret to you? Hmm? However young and healthy you are, you're going to die one day. I'll bless you with a long life, but you will die one day. Is it okay? No? <laughs> so you can die joyfully or you can die crying, it's up to you. But anyway you'll die one day, yes or no? If you say, I don't want to die, today you start the chanting, I don't want to die, I don't want to die, I don't want to die. All that will happen is you will not live but you will die. <laughs> yes? The fear I don't want to die will make you not live but it will not make you not die. Anyway you will die. Coming to terms with mortality is one very important thing. If you don't come to terms with mortality, you're living in a fancy world of unreal world, not in the real world. The real world is, we come and go. So many countless number of people have come and gone before us, isn't it? You're… <laughs> you're in an institution from 1857, I was just wondering how they started an institution in that year because in that year there was such turmoil all over the country, hmm? 19… 1857. Lot of upheaval in the country but somehow somebody managed to start an institution. The soil that you're walking upon, we don't know how many people are buried, yes or no? All these countless people, number of people who walk this planet before you and me, where are they? They are all topsoil. Yes or no? This will also become topsoil one day. Unless your friends choose to bury you real deep, <laughs> fearing you may raise from the dead. Uh, there have… there have been certain instances. This happened. There was an old couple in Texas, over seventy-five years of age. It was their dream to go to the Holy Land or the Jerusalem. But because of business and then children, children growing up, going to the university and their marriages and da-da-da, they never made it. When they're over seventy-five years of age, they made the trip to Jerusalem. Tch. Jerusalem is a place where every cobblestone reeks of history. So they walked that pathway where Jesus is supposed to have walked, they went to that place where he's supposed to wa have walked on the water and many things like this. They were overwhelmed by this whole experience. And unfortunately the lady had a heart attack and she died. Then the man was preparing to take her body back to Texas. But then the local people approached and said, see, Jerusalem is the holy land. This is the right place to die. She's done the right thing. So let's do all the rituals here and bury her here. And it just costs you twenty-five thousand dollars. Because if you take her back to Texas, just the transportation costs eighteen thousand dollars and local charges and in America the cemetery charges are very heavy, 
all this put together, you will spend much more money and above all, she's chosen to die in the holy land. This is where she must be buried, let's do it. The man said, no, I'm taking her back to Texas. They said, see, you're very distressed because of your wife's death. You're not able to think straight, we can understand. So we will give you a super discount, fifteen thousand dollars. This is a haggling place, you know. Let's do it. The man thought about it and he said, no, I will take her back to Texas. Then they said, see, it doesn't make sense. You, you, I can see you're very distressed. You lost your wife of forty-five years, so obviously you're very, very distressed, you're not thinking straight at all. We can understand this just because of that. You are an American and you are from Texas, so we give you an absolute super, super discount, ten thousand dollars, let's do it. Come on, let's do it, let's do it. You must… what I am talking, if you want to understand, you must go to Kashi or Hardwar, <laughs> some place, how these things happen, you know <laughs> Then the man thought about it and he said, no, I'm taking her back to Texas. And they threw their hands up and said, why? What's the problem with you? Ten thousand dollars, let's do it. He said, see, in Texas, dead stay dead. <laughs> so, If you come to terms with your mortality, security, insecurity, all these things will go. You are living on a daily basis as if you are forever. The fundamental awareness that this is mortal, this is here only for a limited amount of time, if this was a regular… you know, a normal conscious thing for you, you would put your life to best use, for sure. And if you come to terms with that one thing, there would be no insecurity because there's nothing to gain, nothing to lose in this life. You came with nothing, whatever the hell is happening, you're on the profit side. Yes or no? Huh? Isn't it so? Did you come with investment? No. You come with nothing, so whatever the hell is happening, you're always on the profit side, isn't it? And anyway, they don't allow you to take a container <laughs> in the end. So all you have is how profound, intense and beautiful is your experience of life. So don't make too much fuss about it. You're acting as if you're going to lose something. No, there's nothing to lose, nothing to gain because you come and you go. You may think, oh, my life, my life. No, it's your… your life on this planet is like a pop-up. On the computer screen, you've seen these pop-ups? You just a pop-up and pop-out. In the meantime, will you rise and shine is the only question, all right? So if anyway you shine, sometimes you may be seen by people, sometimes you may not be seen by people. The important is you… Sh you are shining within yourself and that's all that matters. If people have eyes, they will see it. If they have no eyes, they won't see it, that's their problem. But you are living an intense and profound life, that's all that matters here. If you understand this and if you bring this into your life, insecurity will not happen because security can happen only in death. Yes or no? People keep asking me, coming to me and uh, asking me, Sadhguru, please bless us, nothing should happen to us. I say, hey, what kind of blessing is this? My blessing is let everything happen to you. <laughs> everything that's life must happen to you. Have you come here to avoid life or have you come here to experience life? Please, you must make a decision right now. Have you come here to avoid life or to experience life? Experience life all the different dimensions of what this life holds must happen to you, isn't it so? If you come to avoid life, there's an ocean right here. You can jump into the ocean. See, if you want to avoid life, you must die. 
It's a more efficient way of doing things, isn't it? You're alive and you try to avoid life, it'll become miserable. If you feel insecure, that's what you will do. You will try to avoid life. When you're alive and try to avoid life, it'll cause immense misery. When you're alive, you live. When you die, you die, don't get up from the dead. <laughs>